In this tutorial screencast, we'll look at enamine hydrolysis, which is the reverse of enamine formation. So in the prior tutorial screencast, we saw the formation of this enamine. which was the product of the condensation between cyclohexanone and the five-membered nitrogen heterocycle pyrrolidine. So in this mechanism, we're going to look at when we treat this enamine in the presence of water and an acid, HA, how that then reverts back to a ketone cyclohexanone, and our secondary amine. So we're given the starting material, the enamine. Reagents or conditions to form cyclohexanone and our secondary amine. So if you look at what you have to do, what's changing from the starting material to the product, let's go ahead and draw this hydrogen in. So we've said that that's an alpha carbon. You can see that in the product, the alpha carbon now has two hydrogens. This carbon here bearing the nitrogen in the product is now a carbonyl. So we have to add oxygen to that carbon through our mechanism. So I first want to draw a resonance structure of this enamine. So resonance is denoted by this double-headed arrow and in any typical resonance hybrid you have to have either a lone pair, uh, a negative charge, or a positive charge in a three atom system that contains a pi bond. So specifically in the enamine we have this lone pair on nitrogen and that's bonded to this alkene. So that's, that's our definition of an enamine, an alkene amine. So we can take that lone pair, remember a lone pair always drives the arrow. So that lone pair can collapse down to form a CN pi bond. These electrons then go on this alpha carbon. So in this resonance hybrid, the nitrogen will now bear a positive charge. This alpha carbon here now has a lone pair and a negative charge. So we've balanced out the charge. Why is that important? So if we already said in our product the alpha carbon has two hydrogens. So we've, we're showing a carbanion now. A carbanion is a nucleophile or a base. That base can then react with an acid, HA. So we're forming a CH bond. We're then cleaving this um, hydrogen conjugate base bond here. So in our equilibrium we're going to show the alpha carbon being protonated. So the alpha carbon now has two hydrogens. The nitrogen is still bearing the positive charge. The counter ion is now the conjugate base. So we've accomplished one thing to get to the product already. The alpha carbon has two hydrogens. Let me show a resonance form of this species here which is called an iminium ion. So a resonance form, we can take the pi bond of this CN pi bond and restore the lone pair back on nitrogen. So what do we hope to accomplish by looking at the structure this way? 
we're moving a little bit closer to ending up with our final products. This carbon is now bearing a positive charge. So why is that important? A positive charge signifies an electrophile. And we know that that carbon has to get an oxygen. We're in the presence of water, so water is going to be our nucleophile. That's going to form the CO bond. So the oxygen is, is protonated. The charge is then balanced, the conjugate base. And our alpha carbon has both hydrogens as it should. So at this point, how do we get to the product? So we have an acetal at this point and we need to get to a carbonyl. So we need to start removing these hydrogens. So let's do a proton transfer. So we know that we have to form a CO pi bond. We can't just do an elimination at this stage. Uh, we have to actually protonate this nitrogen first. So we're going to use the acid that we, we generated. So we'll, we'll protonate the nitrogen. You can see nitrogen ends up with a proton as a secondary amine. So that's making that nitrogen a good leaving group, a good neutral leaving group. So now the nitrogen's protonated. We balance the charge with the conjugate base. So what can happen now? The lone pair on oxygen can collapse to do an elimination. That then restores the lone pair on nitrogen, giving us our secondary amine. So we have one more pro proton transfer to do before we're done. So we see that that carbonyl is still protonated our conjugate base will then abstract that proton and we will end up with a neutral ketone. So this has been the mechanism for enamine hydrolysis which is the reverse of enamine formation. The enamine has a resonance form in which the alpha carbon is bearing a lone pair that can be protonated Water can then attack, that installs the oxygen at the alpha carb, at the uh, carbonyl carbon. You go through an acetal, you then protonate the nitrogen to do an elimination, you get the protonated carbonyl, and through an acid-base reaction, you then end up with your ketone.